Hey, Sangres from the Hill Levels here with a walkthrough for I and me. I'm gonna walk you through the entire game, uh, beating every level, collecting everything. Um, before I start, this game is made uh, published by uh, Ratalaika, developed by Indie Nova, uh, Wishfang, right there. Um, and this uh, review code was provided from uh, Ratalaika for the purpose of creating this content. Uh, thank you for that. This game is released on to the Xbox One store on March 6, 2019. Also available on PlayStation 4 and PS Vita. Um, you can get a total of 4 Platinum Trophies uh, for the um, PlayStation 4 and PlayStation Vita in North America and Europe. Basically, you control two cats who move uh, e Together at the same time, you press the left stick and press the jump button, which is the A button, X button on the PlayStation. Uh, and it's basically you're trying to solve the puzzle. You want to get both uh, cats in the frame. I've edited out all the death scenes. Uh, some of the puzzles can be a little bit tricky. Not too bad in World 1. There's four worlds total, uh, 25 levels each in. Uh, the level the world one two three and uh, each of the worlds also contain letters there's 20 of them uh, world one has six world two or uh, world three world four also has uh, the other 14 i'm gonna show you getting all the letters as well um, the achievements in involve um, beating all the levels uh, collecting all the letters and also there's a couple of miscellaneous stuff to do on Level 1-14, you gotta jump the hedgehogs. Uh, this is gonna be a separate video. Uh, and level 4-4, you're gonna have to jump, beat the level without being able to see the enemies. And that's also gonna be another separate video. And one other thing I do want to note is that uh, while this video covers all of chapter 1, 1-24 and 25 is unlocked after beating chapter 4. So basically you'll have to play up to 1-23, skip to chapter 2, watch the chapter 2 video, play up to 2-22, play chapter 3 video, and then come back to finish this off. So. I don't know why he made it that way, but that's that's how it is. So you're gonna get the chapter four achievement first, and then all the levels that were not unlocked during the regular playthrough of the chapters one through three uh, will unlock after you watch the ending, and then you come back and you can finish off chapter one, chapter two, chapter three in any order that you prefer. So you know if it looks like people are getting chapter four achievements before getting chapter one, two, three. Uh, it's not glitch or anything. That's how the game is designed. Uh, there's no bugs. Uh, every achievement works as expected. It unlocked uh, right when it should. Um, and I'm just talking about this entire um, achievement experience of this game right now because it's pretty easy to follow. There's no uh, difficult sections that I really need to explain here. So. Basically, I'm using walls to you know, make sure there's enough distance for the cats. Uh, that's how you adjust the distances. In chapter 2 and chapter 3, you're introduced to stuff like portals um, and moving uh, elevator-like things, platform things. So uh, that from there, I may need to explain a few things. You don't want to touch the hedgehog for obvious reasons. You'll die. So, uh, you just jump down and you go back left that's all and i'm gonna start talking about the levels now so uh, this is basically jumping and while you're trying to get your distance short enough so that you can get both cats in that frame dash 12. <coughs> so <clears throat> you can't jump because if you jump there's uh spikes at the top of the ceiling for the cat that was at the bottom so you, you, you run like hell to the right, and then now you can jump, and then you, know, you finish the level. That's uh, 3 out of 20 letters collected already. You do have to finish the level to, for the it to count. And on the level select screen, 
the letters appear uh, levels with letters appear in different color so it's pretty easy to tell here you don't want to do this actually you can't finish the level if you do it this way you have to get the right distance first and then jump up so basically you want yeah some distance like this try to gauge the frames and then uh, you know, make sure you're about the right distance and then you start jumping up pretty easy uh, what well, if you know what you're doing it's not this game is not that hard uh, some of the later platforms are a little bit unfair but still not anything there's nothing that's gonna be like really troublesome I don't think I did, I did this level the right way. I think there's other ways to do this. But the way I did it is I got the letter, jumped back down, and just went around the, around the whole level again. Uh, basically, there are spikes on the left and right of the cat that's stuck in the middle. So you're going to keep jumping back and forth uh, in order to get him stuck on the middle wall. They, uh, if you... Don't bother collecting the letter, you can just... I could have probably just finished the level here by going left and then right a little bit and then... Well, actually, that's what I did. Uh, before, uh, when I was playing, I uh, went all the way around. So that's... I was, rem I was reminded of that. Alright, for this level, we're introduced to new enemy bees. Uh, you will die if you get hit by it. Uh, the bee thing, the shooting thing... Uh, actually changes direction if you get near it uh, we're not introduced to that just yet but it it will be introduced pretty soon and you'll need to use that to beat the level here what you want to do is you're going to use the right wall but you also need to jump the bees and you need to get enough distance between the two cats so <clears throat> sorry not the right wall the you're gonna do this you're gonna go left a little bit get the distance do it again keep doing this until you have enough distance basically here almost done there you go <clears throat> yeah some things like this it took me a little bit while to figure out but uh yeah, not too bad uh, i encourage you to try to figure out the puzzles and then watch the video if you're stuck too much or use the hint feature of the game you're not penalized by anything, you just uh, press Y button, shows you the sol entire solution or at least the first few um, parts of the solution. And uh, the achievement will still unlock. There's no, no achievement for beating the game without dying. There's no achievement for beating the game without using hands or anything like that. There's nothing hard in this game. You just need to get through the levels. Okay. And also the chapter unlock is a little bit strange as well. I remember I told you you gotta play until you can play until like 1-23 of uh, chapter 1 and then you're forced to play chapter 2 because chapter 1 you can't unlock any more levels in chapter 1. Uh, chapter 2 actually unlocks after you be 1-19. So <laughs> you can technically move on to chapter 2 if you would like after beating 1-19. There's no, you, you still can't be chapter one anyway because uh, the 24 and 25 is not unlocked. So it's a little bit of a weird design. I do want to ask the developer why they made it this way. Uh, it's not explained. Because uh, the additional levels that unlock after the ending, they there's no story. Uh, this was the level where I jumped back down and then decided to go back. Okay, so there's no story in the 1-24, 25, 2-23 through 25, 3-24 and 25. These seven levels have no story and comes after the ending. And I'm not really sure. Maybe it's uh, considered a bonus content. But uh, he could have made it as an extra um, chapter 5 or bonus chapter or something like that. So I'm not really sure of the design decision there. But anyways, A19, as I said, 119, sorry, uh, as I said, unlock the chapter 2. You can move on to chapter 2 if you feel like. Here, what you want to do is, if you jump here, you die. So, we're going to use things like that to get to where you want to go. 
and then you also have to dodge the hedgehog. So it's getting a little bit more difficult, a little bit more challenging. You're going to use that thing to get a little bit distance. Uh, my first instinct was to just jump because I thought that was just enough. But then it's the you can't make the second jump to, from the first couple of platforms to the second couple of platforms. So there you go. I'm going to jump up. I'm going to go up. We're going to use that hole <coughs> where the spikes are. And a hole where the uh, the bottom hole there for the top cat in order to get through this and then we're gonna go back all the way what what I'm trying to do is get that uh, top cat down onto that left frame and the bottom cat onto that right frame okay but if you just jump down there we're not gonna have the right distance so we're gonna go like that jump down and then this is important uh, because it, once you jump down, you can't really change the uh, distance between the two cats. So, uh, there you go. Oh, yeah. Get the letter. We're going to jump down. And there's spikes, so you can't jump every time. You got to be very careful here. <clears throat> there's a gap at the bottom as well. So, uh, the having to control both cats is probably the hardest part of the game so you're, you don't have individual control you're just controlling it with one stick and one a button this is the additional levels it's a little bit harder than the normal levels but this is still world one so the mechanism is saying there's nothing um, like uh, the elevator platforms or anything like that I think I could have just went to the right to make that, but I decided to go to the left. Um, yeah, I don't think you need to do this. You can do, I think you can do the same thing I do on the right side and just bring them together and then come back. <clears throat> but I, I, I decided to do it this way. I'm not sure really why. But anyway, once you get them both together, that's it. And then final level of chapter one and we'll get the achievement for completing chapter one as as i mentioned this can only be done after watching the ending so if you are watching this video in the order that's presented uh you can't you can't do this so this is a simple level you're just jumping over the hedgehogs just instead of one hedgehog there's two and you're done with chapter one thank you for watching subscribe to our channel for more like this video leave some comments share it out and i'll be back with chapter two thank you